and I are here to wish you guys good luck with your biology exam. You'll be brilliant. I want you to go into that exam hall full of confidence. Make sure you go to sleep at a reasonable time the night before. Please don't do an all-nighter. It's really not a very productive experience. Make sure you get breakfast in, drink plenty of water. You want to be nice and hydrated. So that is my first top tip. When you are asked to begin your paper, just cast your eyes over those instructions and make sure you do answer every single question. Remember, the person marking your paper has no clue who you are. You are just an anonymous candidate number. So there is no silly guess. You want to be answering every single question because the way you're guaranteeing yourself zero marks is if you don't write anything at all. If things aren't immediately obvious to you, just put a little mark by the question and come back to it. Do remember the difference between describe and explain. So describe really needs no biological understanding. It's all about saying what you see if it's a graph, stating what the data is saying. An explanation requires a lot more biology. It, it requires you to use some of your revisions, some of the notes you've been learning to back up your answer. So if you're talking about you know, explaining the effect of temperature on enzyme activity, that's where you start talking about the kinetic energy between the enzymes and the substrates. The fact that you'll be forming more enzyme substrate complexes. So do make sure you're providing lots of scientific explanation there. Do cram your answer full of scientific terms. If you're talking about respiration, is it aerobic or anaerobic? What will your products be? Be careful with your wording. Remember, respiration releases energy. It does not produce it. If there's a hole in the heart and there's a mixing of blood, what does that have as an effect on respiring cells? Does it mean that less oxygen is reaching them? Does that mean that less energy is released? What are we using that energy for? Is it for the active transport of substances? Are you contracting muscles? So do try and layer, hey Shep, layer your answers really carefully. Practice those investigation questions. You will be asked to plan an investigation. Remember, I prefer the variable layout. So do state that independent variable, what you're going to change. Dependent variable, what you're going to measure. It needs to be something that you will physically measure, such as the length of a fish, the mass of a fish. What are your control variables? So what are you keeping the same? Repeat and calculate an average and state a time frame. But yeah, please, please, please don't stress. You'll be brilliant. And I'll post another video after exam where you can come and tell me what it entailed and how you found it. But I have all the confidence in the world for you guys.